Thanks, Kuli. And thanks to all for coming tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm Ceren. I uh, moved to Luxembourg from Turkey almost two years ago. By the way, I work as IT auditor as well. And working in IT as a Turkish woman is quite difficult because competition is fierce between Indians and Indians. <laughs> <laughs> So, I understand. Uh, when I moved to Luxembourg, actually one of the things that, I, that made me surprised a lot was the cyclists. Like, almost every people have a bicycle here and so many people use it in their daily life, right? And I really respect those people. Some of them are also touring Europe, Africa with bicycles, right? Uh, I respect them because I cannot cycle. I don't know how to ride a bicycle. I cannot even go five kilometers in the city with my bicycle. But I'm quite good at home with Zwift, you know. I cycle like 80,000 kilometers so far. It's the best thing to do in winter in Luxembourg. And I'm also jealous of cyclists. Not that because I don't know how to cycle, but my ex, he preferred girls who know how to ride a bicycle. He preferred to ride them instead of me. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, had, we had a nice relationship, I think. We had ups and downs. Uh, but I think he loved me. I loved him as well. So it was quite difficult to believe that we broke up for me until I met his girlfriend in my gynecologist's waiting room. <laughs> yeah, so... Just a side note, by the way, the cyclists. Isn't the outfit is the most interesting outfit ever, especially for men? Like those pink jerseys, the tight tights, shorts. I, I, it looks like it's the only place that uh, Straight man looks like gay man. <laughs> yeah, it's quite strange for me. But yeah, about the breakup. Uh, since then, I'm like quite single. And it's, of course, at some point I tried Tinder, Bumble, dating apps. But after a while, I decided to try meeting men in a more natural way. And in my daily life and so on. But it's not working at all in Luxembourg, especially. So I decided to download Blah Blah Cars. <laughs> After all, that's the best way to get to know a person, right? Stuck in a car for hours while you try to travel somewhere and then you pay for them for their service. Or they pay you. But anyway, that's wrong jokes, wrong joke. <laughs> but yeah, after a while, um, some point I tried to have an artificial intelligence boyfriend as well. Because I wanted to have someone who would be always available for me and who would not lie to me. So I asked to ChatGPT 3.5 if it wanted to be, you know, if he were, he was my boyfriend, where would he take me for a date? And he replied, a romantic picnic in a beautiful park or on a lake. And I was like, wow, that's so cute. Maybe I only found my love of life, no? <laughs> and another day I asked it, I feel a bit down. Can you help me cheer up? And it replied, of course. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling down, but I'm here to help. And I was like, wow, I mean, perfect boyfriend ever. Until I asked that question, do you love me? And it replied, as an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to form opinions about individuals. I mean, all guys are the same, right? I deserve better, actually. And I will go for ChatGPT4 and maybe ChatGPT5. I definitely deserve better. Yeah, last bit, actually, about dating in Luxembourg. It's so interesting and fun time to time because you can date with different nationalities, right? If you date with a French guy, you talk about wine. Or oh, this Burgundy uh, is white, but normally they are always red. Like you learn about stuff. If you date with an Italian, you should be ready to eat a lot. 
they are like, oh, in Napoli we have the pizza napolitana, mamma mia, and those stuff. <laughs> if you date with a German, you have to be prepared for everything. You have to schedule everything beforehand. It's like, next Tuesday from 7 to 7.45 we can have sex. <laughs> and you can only hope that he won't be like uh, Deutsche Bahn, cancelling the trip at last minute. <laughs> oh, I cannot come. You should find your own way to go. <laughs> but yeah, the last one, my favorite is dating with the Luxembourgish man. You have to be ready to feel poor. Poor a lot. Uh, because they are like... I'm already thinking to buy a new property this year, but I cannot decide if I should buy from Spain or Turkey. And I think my chance is quite low with a Luxembourgish man because I somehow suspect they choose their future wife based on their credit score. Oh, you have 4.5, I have 4, we can buy a house. Yes, will you marry me? <laughs> That was my time. Thank you very much. You can follow me on Instagram. My Jeran the Bohemian. You can ask me. I'll type it to you. I'm sorry, Ken. Sorry. For my defense. So first of all, big round of applause for Jeran. Yes, I will explain the hard dog in two seconds. The hard dog is not for me. Somebody fucking forgot it upstairs. That's me. Are you serious? <laughs> you uh, made the MC to bring your hot dog. First, you, the chair, then the hot dog. What's next? I'm sucking your dick or what? Please. I hope so. Uh, no. I'm not eating that.